Hello, this is Biffington, and welcome back to um, my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to give a very, provide a very brief video on how to fix the Feed the Beast chunk loaders. And it seems to be a pretty, fair, I guess, a fairly widespread spread problem with uh, the chunk loaders from Feed the Beast in the Dire Wolf 20 1.20 pack. And um, I searched online, and I tried to find the exact spot where I found this information. I could not find it again. So I'm going to... I'll put this up and hopefully that it'll help any some people that are maybe struggling with this issue and save them from the terrible task of of adding a um adding a separate chunk loader mod when you have the feed the beast thing it's already in there so let's go ahead and open up my server files i'm going to cut this so you're going to see the basically the files in here that are my files that are um for my world file so you need, this is how you get to this config file it's not in your standard minecraft config file it's in the world save file, and you go to uh, server config, double click that, and you come down to um, feed the beast chunks world. Uh, it's .snbt. Now it's not, not a typical a typical config file name, and I can't open that here on um, the server. I've got to open it. I've got to take it and put it on my desktop. I'll put it this way, so I can maybe record that, I guess. <laughs> and I've already got one there, I'm going to overwrite it, so that's fine. And um, files transferred, thank you. And I have that file right here. And uh, just double click that, and then choose any text editor you want to open this thing with. I'm going to use Notepad just once. I always pick just once, just in case there's something better I should be using, I, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the config file, you can see it right here. And um, it, you have to be careful when you edit a config file because you can um, make your, you can corrupt your game file and you could never go back in the game file again, most likely. I mean, there's always some, there's, there's some things you can do, but sometimes they don't work and it's totally dead. So before you edit config files, make sure you back up your world. I know that in, in the Feed the Beast mod packs, they have the uh, automatic world backup thing. You just want to make sure you do one before you do this anyway, just to make sure it's as current as possible because you don't want to lose any of that precious progress. All right, so scroll down here. There's lots of things, you know, read through these things. You can see that most of them are not, no need to be changed. Um, here's the one that needs to be changed. Uh, how, control how force loaded chunks work. Okay. And anything with a, a, a number signed here or ampersand, is just text and it will not be used by Minecraft to um, control any type of conditions. And <clears throat> is, I've already changed this, so it's, it, 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 mine was set to default. And default is uh, allow force loading if the team has at least one player within the chunk. So that's probably my problem is that I've never made a team. And so if you've never made a team before, that means your feed the beast chunks thing is not going to be working. <laughs> um, at least one player with a Feed the Beast Chunks uh, load offline rank permission. Wow, I, I don't even know if that's standard, but it probably is. Um, that's default in caps. Default, <laughs> very default is just default. I, I'm not sure. This seems recursive. But you want to do, when it changes, force load mode to always, which is always allow force loading, even if no players are online. That's what you want. You want real chunk loaders. And so... Um, I don't know why this was changed. It must have been for some server somewhere, maybe. But uh, force load mode changes. Just edit it and type it in there. Always. Okay. At least default. And the other thing you can do here is go down and change your um, max claim chunks. 500 is a pretty good amount. And I did edit this to max force loaded chunks. So I'm in a server and an OK computer. I changed it to 250 from 25. And you're going to have to use your own judgment in there to see how much you can add. And um, you know, if you start getting lag, you're going to have to back that off and maybe do so many ch chunks you uploaded. Okay, then you want to save this. And put that back into your world config file. So if I bring it over here, and um, I'm going to crop this. Um, it's already in there. I did, I just did, so it's, it's already in mine. Um, so I, I've already changed it, so I don't have to put it back in there, but you would put it back into your world save file in specifically this folder that is the server config. And then uh, save that. There's no need to save it, it's just done. 
and then restart your world, and it should be working. And so that should be all you need to do. And I hope this short video helps you. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know if it did help you. That'd be very nice. Anyway, see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.